We're sitting down at Nomaha Staple, the mat, the old mattress factory with the 13th year head coach of the Creighton Blue Jays, Greg McDermott. Mac, a Browns and a Steeler fan, sit down for lunch together in September. It doesn't happen very often, especially when we're both one and all. It does not happen often in Cleveland. It's been since 2004. I was nine for one and all. Yeah, I wasn't nine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk. Last season, the consensus was, well, they've got some retooling to do just based on what they lost. And all you do is make it to a Big East championship game and a round of 32 after a thrilling win over San Diego State. What did last year tell you about your group of guys? Well, we did have a lot of retooling to do. <laughs> you know, if you go back to the games in November and December, they had to play through mistakes. And because they played through mistakes, they were, they were much better prepared for what was going to happen in February and March. Uh, this group has not been afraid to put in the extra work outside of practice time. And I think that really showed its face when we got into late February and March and played some of our best basketball. Alexander. Willing it up. Over Polly. Creighton opens the month of February with a resume booster and a signature win at Connecticut. I had you at UConn on February 1st. We look at moments in the season. How much did that win at Connecticut serve as a bit of a launching pad for your group? I really think it was key. That particular game, uh, Kalkbrenner gets hurt five minutes into the second half. And, and I think that gave our, our guys some confidence that, you know, we can play through some adversity. You beat a good team on the road, but you also beat a good team on the road without your rim protector, the, really the anchor of your defense. And I think that really, to your point, springboarded us for some things that happened after that. And the Big East Defensive Player of the Year. There's no defending these. There isn't. No, what are they, these? They have no chance. Those look like cheese curds to me. You against the cheese curds, I'm picking you. That'll be one of the few. <laughs> it wasn't in horse. No, no, you had, I think you had trouble in horse. The dynamic of Ryan Nemhard going down when he did, Trey Alexander comes in and does an incredible job. How excited are you to now see how the two of them can shake out together? Yeah, and a healthy Sharif Mitchell back. You know, we, we lose Nemhart and, and to Trey's credit, early in the season he wasn't playing any point guard. Obviously, we used him some as the season went on. He just stepped in and, you know, his demeanor, the way he carries himself, I think launched him into a whole different hemisphere in terms of what he's capable of. The two of them together obviously are very, very talented. And as I mentioned with guys like you know, John Christophilus, Ben Schultzberg, Francisco Farabello, Sharif Mitchell. We, we've got great depth there as well. This is year 10 in the Big East Conference for the Creighton Blue Jays. I mean, it's hard to believe. It's obviously the Big East has been great for our institution and for our athletic department and our community. And I'd like to think we brought some value to the Big East as well. This is a basketball place. Obviously, you, when you come here, you know you're going to play in front of a great fan base. How much do you value? the fact that you are an elder statesman in this league. I don't like to be old, John, if that's what you're asking me. Do you like being old? But no, but uh, you know, I, I've been at it a while. Been really impressed with the, you know, how the coaches have worked together and stuck together. Obviously, Jay Wright was a, uh, certainly was a guy that led the charge in that regard. And, and now we have to make sure it continues to go that direction. I think it's one of the best leagues in the country and we have to make sure it stays that way. If you didn't, have a life in basketball, what on earth would you do? I'm going to play a lot of golf to start when the time comes. I'm not, I can't make a living doing it, but maybe uh, tour. I yeah, mean... it just depends how well I can negotiate on the first tee on whether I can make a living. But my dad would tell you, I haven't worked a day in my life, and he's probably right. You know, this, uh, you know, coaching is a, it's a labor of love. It's at the end of the day, you're still coaching young people and they can change all the rules they want, but at the end of the day, it's you and them on the practice floor trying to prepare together to be successful, and that's the part of the job that, that uh, really gets me up in the morning. Our food has arrived, what'd you get? Well, you know, you got fries and, you know, six stacks of bacon and, and a double bun there, and I've got just a chicken breast with, you know, with no bun and a little cottage cheese, you know, so there, so you've got an order of cheese curds to yourself. You haven't even offered to share any with me today. That is not true. <laughs> that is very much fake news, but, but they're here. 
They are here, and I, I, once we get off camera, I might dig in. I, 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 I wanted to say to you too, uh, I've received some messages from San Diego from one Coach Lavin, uh, who's very upset that he will not be able to make it this year to Dollar Beer Night, whenever that might be. Someone has to replace the energy that Laugh brought to such a big holiday in this area. Well, it's a very thor thorough uh, interview process to be in a position to be able to represent Fox on Dollar Beer Night in Omaha. He kind of backed into the deal at the time. We didn't have anybody else. That's why he got there to begin with. But <laughs> Is that how he's done everything? Yeah, yeah. In his, uh, <laughs> Pretty much. I'm wondering how he got this San Diego job, but uh, but he's back where he belongs. The guy, the guy needs to be coaching young people. Um, he's terrific in that regard. And I, you know, San Diego hit a home run. Let's dig in. Thanks, John. At the old mattress factory, that is Greg McDermott.